Omni-Knight pick. They can buff up his strength and make it hard to disable. That's really right. They're ganking up on top. At the same time, Notel and Anna are coming into the tier one tower. This smoke maneuver from Pylai Dai and CC and C. This could be really punishing. If they can kill off Anna at the beginning, he tethers back. Actually, Notel's the one being slowed down. CC and C, he really wants to kill off the IO. He doesn't want the ET. Anna is the primary target, number one. Notel puts him to sleep. CC and C moves just out of range for it, and he'll come back in with the stun, but no, Anna tethers away to safety. Now, Notel brings in this plus 160 damage. The dissuade newbie for the failed rotation. That was uh, just a flat out outplay by Anna. Going into the bottom left corner there, so the avalanche misses. Oh, top lane though, they're still gonna get no tell here, I think. Yeah, and the stuns are out. Anna can't give that much, and that's for nothing. There's up. Here they go once more. That nice observer quarter is in deep. Toss in forward, just putting MSS on the front lines. No tell will fall. And MSS even looking to steal the camp now, Notel. Actually on bottom lane too, but the stun, it comes in towards the other Titan. The nuke damage is a little bit faster. You don't want to go anywhere else. And even if I die with fresh Observer Wars to make it work. They're limiting IO spawn a lot if they can play aggressive work here. Ops is actually hard. dead. He's so deep underneath this tower. They've got all the damage. And he was the number one net of the better for them. Smoke up on mid. Fortifications trying to land OG's way, pushing a little bit harder. But they're wrapping around the back. The EG split up. It's all going under the tiny, but CCSC will tank it up. They chain them together. g dies so quickly. No doubt going to join him as well. The GA from Seth hit a right, but it's so late. And now Thompson, this chain stun just continues to go on. The GA will wear off. Most of the abilities already burnt from the tower. It's somewhat apparent there, unless they're all together, they got the objective that they came for, and they're willing to lose two supports for that. Kirby Strike's in a little bit of trouble underneath the tower, looking for the stump of Thompson. Easy movement speed to get away. The silence will slow him down a little bit, but MSS looking for a rebuttal. Just some damage into Sep, and one by one, Nubia are up here. The Blink Dagger of CC and C is about to arrive, but he's lost his teammates. Is there a toss back? No, he just blinks over. He's going for the 15 minute runes closer towards his beast. Master. It feels like CC and C is now just trying to create more and more space. You are still not finished up the radiance just yet. Pylai dies and have some issues inside the dire jungle. Maybe he can deny himself up to the ancients. This is kind of his hope, uh, but it won't happen. Anna will claim his first kill of the game, and with that, Medallion, Goo, Wolf. Yep. It's a quick kill. Wow, that's faster than I thought. So yeah, it would be pretty fast. But maybe we can just go for a trade then. It's the T1 tower on bottom lane for Roshan. That's all. But now it's get, now it gets dangerous. I think OG will try to maybe even high ground with this because they take this like insane timing now. So they're chasing CC and C. His blinks on cooldown. Pilot eyes nearby. He'll give uh, a little bit of extra help. But Jirak has the toss available. Doesn't even get the stun off through the ink swell. Pilot eyes TP out. Takes a little longer. But... So that courier needs to not die. All right, they got the radiance at least, but, but they get a lot. Pilot die. MSS will have some space. You are beating into Anna. Relocates away to safety. And she relocated into that. And now Thompson battles against Yoah. Yoah, he kind of needs a creep to work with. He needs something to work with. MSS can't help him out. And Thompson, creep chill. Jitterax moving through the side. A quick toss, catching the two of them together. They just keep buffing up Thompson. Not even a ridiculous team fight. It's just the reason why you need to back up. Not unless a big initiation from Newbie is able to connect. Anna and Thompson, the ones on the front line. Remember, Anna still got that Aegis Immortal. Yoah, copying heavy damage early on. The rest of OG, smoke sitting behind, CC and C, nice pass back, they pull Anna in, so deep under the tier 4 towers, they kill him quickly, for CC and C, pounced on by the rest of OG, he won't have the ability to fight again, he has to stop, there's all the newbie to sleep, under the tier 4 towers, the soul bind, trying to connect, and then she got anything, can they kill Anna once again with the soul assumption, he's just tanking through all of this, with the one charges, Thompson stacking everybody up as well with the corn sprays, they can get back to base, but even that's not safe, one more spray, maybe snaking will die, Thompson, He just killed going to the bottom side of the map and exposing the Roshan for OG to take because you know, making step by the way. Yeah, um, he was trying to force out the bottom line, but he's walking underneath dive. With Io that ages for free. 
SS. Now going to oh. work with Yawaz. It's a surprise. He was inside the familiar. That was a sexy play, actually. That was really nice. Now Seth's looking for a rebuttal. Yawaz, he's just going to let MSS die. Nothing else that could be done about this. He could do some chip damage in the meantime, but Yawaz had to come back to the Pilot dies. Think he better slow down instead of snaking. Another four up. CC and C. It's the Avalanche. Support's coming in. OG, they've chased way too far here, Doobie. OG owned a tier two tower. They have to just help out the Soul Mine. Connecting OG together. The Raw catching two respect being pushed around to the side. But man, the Storm from Nobretown. They just created more and more space. And where is this damage that Newbie was meant to have? It's not there. They should probably be very happy. But yeah, he's getting the heart. This kill is ridiculously difficult. Oh, jump in, toss back. They found themselves a time. But Prince back with a fresh assault cuirass. That's a lot of life and armor. They have to get through. Yuaz giving it a shot. OG have come in deep. CCNC once again just done up for control from the back line, trying to create more space. Are we the first one to die here? The roar is finally out, but for what the fail? It's going to go in here and puts it. He's the man that's going. style hero with chain stuns like cc and see your second point up in flame guard now mss gonna send in the illusions he actually potentially could have body blocked up the courier and now with a fissure stun cc and see they're bringing him low thompson gets a life steal up again but they're just trying to burn him out the fissure wall is gonna break in just a couple of seconds thompson he's gonna live through this no way they can't let this happen side of fist up cooldown right now cc and see he claims the first blood against og and newbie and actually can they there's no matter on Ben, he doesn't have a stun oh, available. Yes. And... Oh, Thompson's going in, they will get Fisher. Are they just going to be trading kills, these guys? Yeah, they're going to give it a Fisher. shot, but my god, MSS. He got him on the wrong side. Yeah. And Seb's the man who has to hold the tower, faking the RP out. There's no way he's going to trigger that until Thompson comes in range. Now he might do it. CC and C, the RP will go down. Flame Guard's protecting him nicely. And they got the start of control. CC and C does go down. The vision from MSS comes a second too late. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Ana has been. Uh oh. That's, uh, Omni Slash. That's a lot of damage. And you are dead under the tier one tower. Level one Omni, but totally. They can't get this tower. They can't. TP's already coming in. Doubles in. Anna through the back line. He doesn't have the Omni Slash, but with the control stunts, the save from Pilot Eye is essential. OG, the Rue, Jirax catches out three. CC and C, there's no way out. He's got no mana. He's totally dry and dead. CC and C. So he goes to Fusil, into Snaking, MSS gonna walk in, needs to land in that double stun, just goes for the Echo Slam, straight onto Nortel. They can at least bring down the support while the disruption of Anna. Nortel, he is brought down by the Impetus, and oh, then he's going to being out, he's able to escape! They needed him so bad! What just that? Thompson jumps down around, looking for Snaking, trying to put that Echo Save to work, but Fisher blocks him in, but a three-man stun into the Wukong, and the RP! Everything together! Layer like a cake! OG! They would love to get CC and C2, but he will spear it away. To get something done. RP and Wukong's down. MSS is coming over. CC and C is going to have a look in the pit. They see the status of Roshan. A quick silence out. The Phantom is embraced from Nortel. Some of the back line. Highlight Eye, actually, just Magnus really caught out. Skew is back over. Joins the rest of his team. Gets a fine man, Mac, and MSS is trapped. He can't do much more. Now the Omni Slash up the hill. Well, it's all going to go into Yawa. He can tank through that. Anna, of course, he's got more survivability. Into the spin. Newbie still on the retreat back out. Snaking's trying to do some level of damage, making Anna a lot lower. Snaking needs to keep the distance up. Thompson, in the meantime, killing a VS to the back lines, but now they go for more. Hold them together. It's all the embrace of death that Nubi just have to accept underneath their own expired shrine. They go down. Use the wards to get a fight going their way. And OG, okay. Yep. They're just gonna go high ground. They don't yep. have Aegis. You got Thompson with an Aegis Immortal, so hey, just Oh, what am it. I talking about? They yep. have an Aegis. Fisher <laughs> catching out on three. MSS still waiting for the perfect blink. Yeah, there he goes. Only breaks the Aegis Immortal. But hey, here's something. You'll take it. 
Pajirax, he's into the back lines. They see him now over in the trees. He sees so much too snaking. Still trying to be that front liner for the team. Watch those buybacks if it can be possible. The start on Magnus actually cancelling off the RP. So he can't get it off, but there's no buybacks available for the two newbie deaths. And they need Snaking to have that bigger damage. So then Yawara and CCNC. Time to step up for the BKP. It's worn off. And it goes back to the fight with the defusal. They're purging on Thompson. Maybe with the damage from CCNC, they can actually get a little bit more out of this. Side of Fist. Finally, Thompson's streak will be ended. Jirax is low as well. CCNC, we get back to back kills. Anna, Searing chained up. Pardai, what else have you got? Another Sly. He's getting rid of the creep wave. At least they're keeping their racks alive here, newbie. But they won't get much more. A great Slide of Fist dodge, just dodging the ink swell of Anna. The tier 3 tower is still taken. OG, it wasn't the perfect fight from them. You got a side of fist searing. Oh, and the trees. Oh, that's not what it looked like. Blink echoes off oh, the but it's still only level 1. And Pi's dead, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit problematic. Crazy disruption over on Jirax. Vigil tries to create some more space, and maybe they can get this kill onto the tree and protect before he can get the overgrowth off. Able to do so, so Jirax is down. Thompson into the Wukong's command, but very much away from the rest of Newbie as they just wait out the Soulbind. Thompson doesn't want to leave just yet. CCNC, who's his target? Anna into the Omni Slash, but the Yule Scepter is wasting all of it. The RP will catch up CCNC, but defensive disruption. Pilot I got it off just in time with the Inkswell, the Sun Control, maybe with the Storm Hammer. You are, it's time to go big or go home. He's looking for the cleave damage, but Anna, he closed the distance over on Snaking. You are, everyone's just Delta split. They can't catch him out, he gets rooted to the ground. And the buybacks that came in from Newbie, they want to fight around the shrines, but now it's going to be Pylai die falling. Thompson's gone after MSS for a triple kill from him. And it'll be Anna who'll claim the life and a double kill against Pylai die. And Seth, he's also looking for his own fight. Oh. Everyone's having their own engagements. CC and C trying to bring down Seth. It won't be enough though. The Yule Scepter up. My bad indeed. Skew us to it. Great side of fifth. CC and C is actually going to claim that life. But they're hunting. Diffusal Blade. Spirit defensively up and back with the side of fifth searing chase. He's just trying to play the game until he's got his TP buff called out of five seconds' time. Fortification will stop OG from instantly assaulting the base. And Newbie, they're playing scrappy, but they're playing still. They're four men smoking out. They're looking for an opportunity. Jirax, he's hunting CC and C. Thompson about to bounce forward. The smoke breaks on the Enchantress, but they have to kill off Jirax so quickly. Yawa, BKB, God Strength, they're going to be able to do so. So down goes Jirax. No buyback available, but in the back lines, Snaking, the man that has to do the damage, is stuck inside the Wukong's command. With the stun from No Tell, they'll hold him there. Snaking tanks through a lot, but he can't tank through all of it. CC and C, no defensive spirit available. He has the Yule Scepter, silenced up for the moment. Needs a little bit more space to work with. And that's why up, down, and around, the stun from Nortel won't be able to reach, but he'll be able to hit. No, he doesn't hit with the stroke of fate. Another banishment by Pylai Dai. Buyback maybe needed here from Seiki. RP. RP catching out Yawa. He had no BKB. He had no goal strength. He had no real presence. They can buy back, but they've lost CC and C. Thompson just did it solo underneath the racks, which they're looking to take now. Fortification slows down the push from OG, but it definitely won't stop it. And look, he's even with the double damage rune on the end of Anna. Was thinking about tier four towers. But okay, back to reasonable objectives. It's going to be the mid. Pilot Eye. Disruption. Now the Impetus can go out towards Anna. He'll jump away, Storm Bolt, Thompson, he's in real deep. Remember, Aegis the Immortal, he's happy to tank it through as long as they can get a rebuttal kill. Anna sent up and towards the air, Snake is getting some time to heal up. He's got nine one charges and he needs that time. Does Pilot I have another disruption? No, it was one second away. He's stuck around, now all he can do is just disrupt the attacking Anna. Snaking back into his damage over to Monkey King. They really want Thompson dead. He's such a huge chunk of the damage as Anna runs forward. Can't get the Inkswell stun out, but you'll have the Omni Slash. Oh my god. Oh. Together you are. Together you stand. Together you die. And together you GG. Newbie are out. OG have knocked them down.